All right, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> I hope you can hear me okay. Bienvenidos. Um, ojalá me puedan oír muy bien. Y vamos a estar, we're about to start here in a minute. So, here's today's reference photo, and it's just a glass bottle. You know, it's, all I did is Google glass bottle. And uh, this is the picture that I liked. Um, you know, if you want to save it for later, you know, or use a similar picture for your for your practice, <clears throat> that's fine. So, aquí está, amigos, la foto con la que vamos a hacer uh, nuestro dibujo hoy, nuestra referencia. Uh, aquí está. Uh, so, si la quieren aguardar y usarla o, o usar una foto similar, um, está muy bien. So, aquí está la foto que usé para hacer mis plantillas. Y esto se mira muy chico, pero you know, hagan la, del tamaño que quieran ustedes. <coughs> y, y sí. So, here's the, the drawing I used for the stencil. And as you can see, I just used the made kind of like an outline of the outside. And I've cut it out into basically what is three pieces. And then I'm gonna go over some things uh, here. So, ahí está, aguarden la foto. So here we have our cuts, right? So obviously we have the outside cuts. So tenemos la parte exterior de la plantilla, verdad? Obviamente. Y luego tenemos nuestras dos partes interiores. Sí. Es una parte que va por de afuera de la otra parte, right? So it's, it's just an outer part and an in, inner big inner piece, right? We're going to use that. And then I took this, you know, so esta parte aquí, y hice un, like I traced it out over here, right? So, hice la, la retrasé acá en este lado, y luego usando mi foto de referencia, hice unos, unos dibujos aquí, pues, o unos lugares donde vamos a recortar el, el, la cinta. You know, we're going to cut out these pieces of tape, and we're going to use these for our design. Uh, once we get to that inner, this, this piece, we're going to lay these in. So, cuando llegamos a pintar este pedazo de aquí, vamos a usar nuestros recortes, estas partes de aquí. No, no he recortado todo lo de fuera, solo estas partes de dentro. You know, I've only cut out these pieces, not the whole outside. You know, we don't need all that. We just need these. Um, and then we're going to use those when we get to painting this. So, right, I'm just going to move you guys to the other camera again. We're gonna, I'm going to spray some 3M Super 77 on the back of these and then we're going to stick them on our paper that we're working on today. We're working on some um, what is like sketch paper. It's really thick, good quality paper um, and that's what we're going to be working on today so that it dries quickly and it's resistant to our paint. So voy a estar usando el 3M Adhesivo Multiuso Super 77 para pegar nuestras plantillas en sobre papel uh, papel para sketch que está resistente para pinturas pues que es un papel que ya está tratado para pinturas no se te va a arrugar o se mojar uh, bastante y estamos usando papel para que se seque rápidamente y podamos trabajar sin tener que um, esperar mucho entre capas de pintura pues so, voy a poner un poco de pegamento y voy a cambiar cámaras so then, in a moment, so I'm just switching cameras real quick, and I'm gonna spray some glue. Babe, can you turn on the light? Almost forgot about the light. So. So, aquí tenemos nuestro papel. So, here we have our paper. I'm just going to try to get you nice and close. Right, and I've just taped it down. Right, le he puesto tape al papel para que no se me mueva. Y luego tengo un pedazo de tape acá que vamos a usar. Uh, y la razón que lo tengo pegado es porque quiero que se le quite un poco del pegajoso. So I have this tape over here, then I'm just kind of letting it sit on there, and uh, 
kind of want to stick it on something before we use it so that when we stick it on paper it's kind of lost some of its stickiness um, but we need it we're gonna use this for this exercise so I'm gonna start off by putting the big middle piece so voy a empezar por poner la parte del medio verdad right the make meat and potatoes and then I'm gonna put the outer piece y luego voy a poner la parte exterior Make sure you get it in there. There's probably not enough glue on this, but it's totally okay. Get it in there, just like that. And then, this is where we're going to take our tape over here. Vamos a tomar nuestro tape, que ya no está tan pegajoso. Lo vamos a poner sobre, como una pulgada uh, por arriba de este. So we're just going to leave about an inch off of our uh, bottle here and we're just going to take a little bit of black voy a hacer un poquito de negro y nomás le voy a dar un, una sombreada aquí so I'm just going to do a quite little shade with black again, important that it's black and not gray and then we're going to take this off igual, es importante que esta sombra sea negra y no gris vamos a quitar esto and then we could just set this to the side right now. We might need it later on. Fix the stencil. Then we're going to use the outside bit. Right? We're going to put this. We're going to line it up right here. Put it right there. And we're going to use a little bit of gray. Vamos a usar un poco de gris. Vamos a alinear aquí las esquinas. Y no más vamos a colorear adentro de allí. So just color that in right there. And then again, we're going to line up right here and we're going to put it maybe like this. So again, alinearnos aquí con nuestra sombra de acá abajo y luego, you know, hacerlo un poco uh, al lado, you know, para darnos una buena sombra. So, y nomás lo vamos a rellenar um, ligeramente con gris. So we're just going to lightly shade that in with gray off to the side. take this off right. and our outside piece comes off but that's okay we're just gonna line this up and we're gonna put that in so quitar nuestra parte de afuera poner nuestra parte de, o sea quitar la parte de afuera de la botella y poner nuestra parte de afuera de, de, de la botella completa y luego vamos a pasar otra vez con un poco de negro so we're going to start off with some black and we're just going to put a light shadow all the way around on both edges. So just really light, a really light line. Doesn't have to be perfect. So nomás un sombreado ligero con el negro alrededor de los dos lados de las plantillas. Y no tiene que ser muy perfecto, nomás denle una línea leve so just going off of our reference here we're going to use the reference to darken up these areas that are dark on the reference So just hit some of these edges a little bit with extra black. And then we're going to switch to our gray. And we're going to fill in that whole edge right there. So vamos a cambiar al gris. Estamos rellenando. Rellenando aquí nuestras áreas. Completamente. Todo alrededor. Sobre el negro. Y luego podemos quitar la parte del centro. So now we can take off this middle piece. Right. And it gives you that nice hard edge. And this is where the parts where we cut off with that tape come in. So aquí es donde llegan esas partes que cortamos con el tape. Con la cinta. Y vamos a poner nuestras partes aquí. 
right? So just put those in. And actually, if these are not perfectly lined up, that's that's okay, because these are the shines on the glass, right? But the, obviously, the better you get them in there, the better they're gonna look. So, you know, si esas no, no las alinean super bien, está perfecto, porque estos son los brillos de la botella. Pero lo, lo mejor que las pongan, lo mejor que les va a salir. So nomás estamos poniendo nuestros cortes de la cinta que hicimos sobre la botella en las áreas donde van. Algo así. And then this one down here. So now we're going to work with our gray and we're just going to lightly kind of working off the a reference again, but most of this is kind of filled in with gray, so just shade it in lightly. You don't want to just work off the edges, you want to kind of work on the whole thing at once. So if you're working in some shading, work it in everywhere, right? Don't work along these edges. And if you see a little darker area, go ahead and darken it in. Put that there. We're going to work on this spout up here. So, aquí hay unas niñas negris, son de nuestras botellas tiene para. And this will just add your corkscrew where your bottle cap goes in on this. Uh, Sierra La Botella, you know. <clears throat> Hello, Cody. Hello, Stephen Ward. How's it going, guys? So, again, we just filled that in nice, nice and light gray. And this is, uh, again, you can go ahead and take these off. So, pues, aquí ya podemos quitar nuestras plantillas. Nuestra cinta. Ya les queda algo así. Vamos usando un poco de gris. Rellenar un poco de esas áreas. Aquí. And there you go. Right. But we're going to add liquid to it. Right. We're not just going to leave it like that. So we're going to add. Queremos que tenga líquido la botella. So aquí voy a tomar un poco de. Vamos a usar amarillo, so I'm going to use yellow. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm going to use yellow. So, voy a usar un poco de amarillo transparente, a little bit of transparent yellow. And I'm just going to fill that in, right? And be careful with the overs right here. Just go ahead and fill that whole thing in. So, no más rellena todo esto. Usando la cinta. Take this off. Right, there's your liquid right there. But then if you want to add some shine to it, go ahead and switch to some white. Uh, so le queremos dar brillo a la botella sobre donde hay líquido. So vamos a cambiar un poco de blanco. Right, and so on top of these spots right here, just go ahead and make a dot. Right, sobre estas áreas aquí, y luego bajando sobre estas áreas, so just off these areas here where the highlights already exist. Go ahead and do that. And then if you look back on your reference, there's kind of some the highlights happening over the gray like this. Uh, so hay unas no rayos que se ven pues en la referencia algo así. Do a little bit of detail on your, your lid here. Right. 
maybe add a, a couple of rays here and then you could even use your edge off of here and working off the reference again there's an edge to the bottle here that kind of separates that right there and then add some shines along the bottom here cuando más le estamos usando la referencia para usar puntos altos y agregarlos ¿verdad? so we're just adding in our shines and stuff just find some high points on your reference and add those in and uh, you know once you're satisfied go ahead and take that off there you go you have your nice bottle with a nice shadow and uh, again kind of going for a realistic look semi realistic I probably went a little too dark on these grays here you know maybe a little bit lighter gray so este gris que usé a lo mejor es un poco más muy oscuro pero a lo mejor un gris más ligero uh, le saldría un poco mejor pero ahí está su botella que, que se iba muy muy bien um, so I kind of just like to go on my own sometimes and just add highlights where I see that I you know go all day making it look good something like that that's a cool little bottle with some you know will presumably be beer or something in there anyway that's a good little practice I hope that helps some of you guys out as always thanks for watching So ahí está amigos, ojalá les, les ayude a uno de ustedes o dos o tres. Um, si les gusta, denle en el me gusta, suscríbanse si quieren ver más videos como este. You know, as always, make sure you hit that like button if you like that video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos like this. Um, I'm going to try to do one every other day. Um, and they're good practice if you're just trying to learn, if you want to look back on reference later on uh, to get an idea or whatever. Uh, there you go. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.